So to start, this story time is about trouble and everything that revolves around it. That's why it's so long, because I don't take no crap from anybody. So anyway, back to the story time. I go to the most prestigious, beautiful, well-kept school ever, and Grimwaid, it's, it, it's Grimwaid. And it's pretty nice, but I am not. So basically, um, in class we were learning about adverbs one time and my teacher, she's pretty cool and eccentric. Like this one time, she literally, when we were describing what it would feel like to do something, she pulled out a full lemon from her desk that was just there, which like, just astonished me, it's so weird. And then she, she asked what it would feel like to bite into it. You know what, never mind, back to the topic. Um, remember that. Remember that. Not the lemon bit that she's eccentric. So we're deciding adverbs for this girl in my class who's dad created. Uh, never mind. Pretty cool though. And her friends were saying good stuff like she was smart and funny and a nice person. Which is true. But I'm a terrible rotten person. And I, th and I thought that my teacher was cool enough to not get mad at me for saying this. So I said boring as an adverb. There's this guy called uh, Ernest. Anyway, hi dude if you're watching this, probably doesn't watch my videos. So listen, me and him are cool now, cool now. But a couple years ago he was well, um... So, like, a couple years ago, um, there was this job that I was doing called a locker monitor at my school, where you basically monitored the lockers, made sure they were clean, make sure nothing was wet, make sure nothing was coming out, make sure that he, make sure that people didn't have any, like, stolen items, you know, that, that, that kind of stuff. And Ernest was doing his thing, like, the opposite of all those rules. Basically, if you won the locker award for having the neatest lockers, you got this um, little locker trophy that our school handed out, since they're loaded. But Ernest, he was doing the opposite all of all of that. He was letting stuff hang out, stealing, letting his water bottle drip out, half of his stuff wasn't even in his locker, he left old food in there, didn't clean up, made others messy, and um, put things in others' lockers that he didn't want to take care of, like his old lunch and stuff. So, I put a kind note that asked him politely to clean up his locker, because then he would get the trophy for most improved. And he, like the sweet, caring person he was, said no, told on me, said that I stole from him, wrecked him, insulted him, um, made him look like a fool, pushed him around, took things from his locker, put things in his locker, stole his lunch, that kind of stuff. All because I put a note that says, could you please keep your locker a bit more tidy to get a trophy? Um, P.S. Josh. So my awesome library teacher was awesome and funny. And basically when I was in there, I wasn't allowed mum technology at school that could text or connect to the internet. So I brought this weird ancient device with weird technology. 
and no touch screen. It was a walk. It was just. It was literally just a walkman. I was being silly. And it. And I thought personally that it was so old you couldn't confiscate it, since it was an antique, and it would be allowed. And it had been allowed until then. And anyway. Um, in library, I was playing this really funny song called Shifty Five. Like, if you hear it, you'll, you'll, you'll know what it is. But, um, it was very, very quiet. And my bestest, coolest, funniest, most incredible friend ever who was perfect, Finn the Fridge, or Finn Coulson, suggested that I make it a teensy bit louder. So I reached over and turned it up just a little bit, but then I accidentally slipped and ended up turning it 57%, then it fell off the table and played as loud as it possibly could. Way more than I was actually meant to. And as they say, a picture tells a thousand words. So from there, all my library teacher saw was this. Oh yeah, it's time for Finn's side of the story. Sometimes profound, sometimes absurd. It's Finn. Says some words. This is my friend Finn. Hello. And he is going to say his side of the story because he is the best. Anyway, so, so how did it happen from your view? We were sitting in the library where we were supposed to be quiet. And we were playing the this Shrimpy Five song. Yeah, and it was like, I can count all, all the way to Shrimpy Five. And I will tell you how to do it. But, and, but like, um, when it happened, um, like, uh, our teacher, like, we can't say her name because internet, but like, our, um, our library teacher, um, imagine what she would have heard. Dream. Yeah. And she, she just hears these random kids. Um, it was a really bad part of the song. Um, l like we we just showed it, but still, it was it was that part where it's like fifty five, fifty five, shake your butt, you went fifty five, fifty five. Now let's do the. Uh, I I will bleep that out later. So so where did it go from there? It was just the library teacher just went like giving out books and everything, and like oh here you can stamp your book. And then it was suddenly like watching just two kids standing around to her perspective a radio or something. Yeah, like playing the most inappropriate, song, most inappropriate song, song, song ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then and then and then like it was just chilling on the table, she feels like give me that. And then I just pop it on the table sadly. And then we just sit down and, and keep reading Gymnastica Fantastica. <laughs> Yeah, it was like the best book though. Yeah, that was the best book, yeah. Mm. Congrats to whoever wrote it. I don't know yeah. his name and I don't really care, but still. Pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, Finn, your time is almost up, so say goodbye. Bye, bye. Have a nice day. You will appear in future videos. I know what I should have said. What, what, what? Hello, internet! Definitely, yes. <laughs> By the way, we haven't ended the recording. <laughs> Oh, hi guys, this video took so long to make, animate, whatever, I'm not sure, I literally just recorded this. Anyway, I really put so much effort into this, so please share it or sub, I mean, if you want to, but it would mean so much to me. And join my Discord if you want, just saying, like, link in bio, if you want, not forcing you. Also, here's some fan art, some more cursed than the others. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding. They're all really good. This one's from RK Animation Productions. I really like this one. And some more. Um. Wait, hold on. Who is that from? Oh, it's by Max Animations. Oh, and some more inventions. Wow, by Milo Sketches. This is really good. I mean, they all are. They all are. They're all very good. But still. Oh yeah, and the fan media tournament is happening in five months. 
so you still need to have some time so you still have some time sorry if this video didn't make it to 12 minutes whatever actually no nah, it made it to 12 minutes have fun do your stuff eat pizza for breakfast chill out and good night